Greetings! Yes, it's me. I still exist. Right, just popping on for, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever. Uh, there's a few things going on that uh, you might be interested in if you're, st if you're still here. <laughs> if, you, if there's still people here. Uh, this is like the third time I've done that. Uh, is there still anyone here? But, um... Yeah, I'm starting to rev the engines back up. I'm kickstarting, jumpstarting, you could say, the engines of the channel, uh, which I'll talk about a bit later. Um, so, uh, yeah, last week I was on a, a podcast from uh, another expert earlier called Sean Bryant. The, the podcast is called Not Just Cad. I'll link it in the description. Uh, we had a good old chat. So if you're interested in, like, long-form stuff, just listening to stuff in the car or whilst you're trying to sleep or whatever, work or whatever, both at the same time, who knows? Uh, it depends uh, what kind of person you are. Uh, I know that. I know the type. But um, yeah, it was an interesting chat we had. His show is called Not Just Cad. Sean's an expert elite within the sort of AutoCAD slash AEC uh, construction. AEC, ACO or something it's called now, whatever. Um, but yeah, we had a good chat about a bunch of things. Autodesk University, software, blah, blah, blah. You know, so um, it's, it's a good show that he's got. I'm not sure what he's, he's update. He's upload cadence is or what he aims for. But uh, he's had a few guests on over the months uh, from... Me to Autodesk executives, Steve Blum, the chief operating officer of Autodesk, various other, you know, profiled figures within the space. So, um, yeah, check out that. Check out. I think in the description. Check out his podcast. And, and if you want my episode, it was a, it was a good, it was a good chat, chat head. Right. So that was that was last week. So that's live now on Spotify or whatever streaming service of, of choice you you tend to go for. This Friday coming up, September twentieth. Uh, I'm going to be co-commentating again on Two Tall Toby's speed modeling tournament, uh, which I did last year. If you don't know what that is, if you weren't around last year, there's, a, there's another creator in the CAD space, uh, within the solid SolidWorks space. Boost. Ah, yeah, I know. But um, he, he hosts this amazing tournament where he he, he models like a, a, a bunch of models, like, but, like tons of parts, creates 2D drawings of them. And then at the start of every tournament match, he gives the contestants, two of them, uh, one of the drawings, and they've got to model the part as fast as possible. Um, and then the first to model it in their chosen package of choice progresses to the next round and so on. And I'm sure you're familiar with tournament formats. But so uh, we've got two matches on Friday that I think I'm commentating on them both. I'll, I'll probably find out on the day. Uh, we've got Titanium, using Inventor, hence why uh, I'm here. And then against Alessino, who's on SolidWorks. Ooh. And um, yeah, it's a chance to win. Ooh, ooh, 3D Connection uh, Enterprise, I think they call it. God, they're old now. Christ, they must be seven years old or something. Those, Come on, 3D Connection, man. Get your, get your 3D products updated already. It's been seven. Oh, it doesn't matter. Good prize, anyway. So it's a really, really, really good device. So that's uh, match one on Friday. And then the next one is... Rambros, I see what you did there against Ty, who's uh, using. A, I I hadn't heard of this pro. It begins with an A. Al 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 something. Al a a Lumbra, a Lebra, a Libra, a Libra. Is it a Libra? I don't know. Uh, I mean, Fusion Three Hundred and Sixty versus a Libra, maybe. Uh, so I'll be commentating on that as well. In these speed modeling tournaments, the the fascinating. It's like it's not. It's obviously not real world stuff, right? They they go for the quickest, most dirtiest ways to get a model finished and you you win based on the, the final mass properties, right? The, the weight of it. If you get the weight right, then you've modeled it right. Um, it's the first to do that win. So it's like battle of the CAD programs and also a battle of skill from the users. So um, yeah, I'll be commentating on that. Uh, so that'll be Friday. I, I, I thought it was, I thought it was 12.30 ET, but um, it's, it's down here as uh, 5 p.m. GMT, which is an hour or so earlier than I thought it was. I don't know. I'll find out on Friday. I'll just wing it, and I'll just I'll just turn up on Friday. And be like, hey, what time are you doing it? Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll link to two tall Toby's channel in the description if you want to subscribe to him, or uh, he might he might have if he hasn't already got like a uh, an upcoming live event for the tournaments that you can sort of bookmark. So when um, there's that, right? Okay, that, that's that's what's happened so far. Uh, I just want to quickly waffle on a bit of just what what I'm doing. So I've had a year off. Uh, it's been a it's been a lovely year off. I'm not going to lie. I, I I hit burnout, absolute hardcore extreme burnout uh, as a creator here. Uh, and but burnout doesn't mean you know you get a bit sleepy and tired and you you're afforded the opportunity to just not work for a bit, right? No, that's not what I mean. Burnout's like you just lose all interest. You get complete lack of like non-existent motivation to do anything for this because you've just exhausted everything, uh, all the willpower. Um, so I sort of hit that about two years ago, then I sort of muddled through it for a year. 
And um, there was a number of warning signs came out and I was like, look, I, I, I need to step away from this and, and do something else. So I did. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of ready to sort of fire the engines back up, I think. You know, I've, I've sort of flirted with it over the last year. Um, I've come back on, so what am I doing? You know, I might come back. I, I probably won't, but, you know, maybe. I, and I, I, I didn't. Uh, so, but I might. Um, and what I might do is just to get back into the swing of things is I might start my own sort of podcasty show for a number of reasons, really. Uh, it's good. It, it's quite easy content to do. Uh, and this is one of the caveats I've put on my, you know, I've, or one of the conditions, I suppose, that I've, uh, I'm, I'm enforcing on myself if I am to continue this channel. And that is I'm not going to put as much effort into it, which sounds absolutely crazy. We need, you've got to put as much effort as put. No, I'm not. I am not. Put. So th- just to give you a bit of backstory, like the channel's over 10 years, coming up to 11 years old, actually, in January. Um, and I've been on the usual YouTuber journey, right? You know, you start off with very modest uh, beginnings, really cheap software, cheap gear, cheap microphone, everything's bad. And then you, you invest a lot, a lot. Uh, I mean, this right, this sort of stuff, right? It's like £400 just for a microphone, you know? Uh, so in the cameras, thousands here, thousands, right? It, it stacks up. But it's an investment with the intent that it sort of helps you grow your channel. Um, so I, I made that investment, you know, and it, and it, the, the more gear you've got, the harder it is to create the content, which sounds crazy, but it is. The better camera you've got, the more editing you have to do to get the camera, the best out of the camera. Uh, you end up with more shots that you've got to splice together. There's more transitions. There's, then you think, well, everyone else has got these sort of text overlays and so I've got to do those. And you end up like spending days, weeks on a video. And uh, in, in this space that I'm in, you, you don't get, I've said this many times, and I'm probably, you know, some people would be like, it's repeating, it's just mad. It's been yes, I've talked about this stuff. But um, you, you don't get the, re- the return for that time investment. So um, so I, I've got the capabilities, the experience to make the videos exceptional quality, but um, I'm not prepared to do it anymore. It's just not, I'm not getting, on, on this, in this space, it's not anyone's fault. It's just the, the nature of the beast. It's very, it's a niche within a niche within a niche. It's like a really tight knit sort of bubble. Um, so I'm just not prepared to put that kind of work in for not much reward. Uh, and it deters you from doing the work in the first place. It's like, I remember when I was getting laptops coming in, uh, I had a monitor actually, MSI sent me a monitor, 4K OLED, uh, a made beautiful monitor. And I just like, I just thought it's going to take me like, th- knocking on a week to make a video on this, like all the B-roll stuff, the testing, uh, coming up with like, what, what can I test, all that sort of stuff and shooting it. And then what am I going to say? What am I going to talk about? What tests am I going to do on it? Then actually editing it. I thought, for what? For what? 2,000 views, 3,000 views, even at max, 10,000 views. What's that, like four quid? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. I like, bore off. It's just not happening. Um, so it sort of deters you from doing the work in the first place. So I just thought, look, right, know your limits. Uh, know, know, know the restrictions that you're going to put on yourself and just just do, just and try and enjoy it again, you know? And um, I just, so that just means doing stuff like this, right? So this is, like, the quality of this is acceptable, but I'm not going to, like, this video itself, I'm not going to chuck it in an editor. I'm just going to, Upload it straight from the capture card. Ums, ers, pauses at the start, pauses at the end. Be damned, I, I don't care anymore. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Just like sort of dial back the quality a little bit. Because um, it, it just, it goes unappreciated really in a, on a on a channel of this size, right? It doesn't, it doesn't help. That's, that's the best way to put it. So um, yeah, that's one of the, the conditions that I'm going to put on myself. Um, and yeah, starting a show like a podcast, I'm probably going to call the podcast like Unconstrained. I, I think I like that name for a show for this space because Unconstrained is CAD related, but it also lets me not be constrained to CAD as well. So I can talk about whatever I want so within reason. I'm not going to just talk about like, you know, Trump v. Harris. Or <laughs> Who cares? Right. But stuff that's related to the space. So that's of interest to me. Um, but I, I like long form content. I, I really do. It's something that frustrated me in the early days of of being a youtuber and i get it right there's a there's a certain demographic within the the, the general youtube audience you know the the get on with it crowd right get to the point you know, stop waffling can you just stop talking and get to the point you know, video starts at this timestamp. that sort of people and um you know as much as i don't think it's appropriate to really vent your frustrations at a creator who's giving you free content i think that's like absolutely obnoxiously rude um, I, I do actually understand the frustrations with that, you know. I, I've been through it myself. I've looked for tutorials and stuff. And just yesterday I was looking for stuff. And there was a guy, he had a six-minute video. And the first two minutes was him fucking 
button on me. Rah, 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 rah. Oh, you can follow me on my Instagram here, TikTok there, socials here. Uh, sign up for me, merch, me newsletter. I'm like, yeah, mate, just fucking, you've titled the video How to Do X, Y, Z, not my life story and everything that I'm making money off. Just shut up and get on with it. But I would never vent that to the person. But so I, I get it. You know, I get that sort of need to have like, just gimme, gimme, gimme. But that's sort of what put me off making tutorials in the first place. It's that gimme, 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 take, take, take sort of mentality. Um, as a creator, you, you you lose a massive chunk of your your, your life. You dedicate a huge proportion of your life. You sacrifice so much stuff to make content. And for the most part, a lot of creators get rewards back from it. But in a little bubble like this, you tend not to, you know. Um, but you, you get still get people coming on like, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Can you answer my question? Can you do this for me? Can you give me a call? Can you connect to my computer? Can you look at this modern file? I'm like, why? Why should I? You know, I've, I, I make videos. I, I put out the videos for free and you still, it's never enough. One, 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 one. And that was sort of the point where I, I, I thought like that's, if I'm thinking that way, I need to stop, right? I need to, I need to, this is not a healthy mentality to have. It's not, it's not. It's not gonna do me any good or anyone any good. So um, yeah, so I think that's like tutorial content moving forward. It's not really gonna be for me. I've served my time with it. Um, and I, I always felt like I, I was eerily and comfortably comfortable talking to myself for a long time. I'm doing it right now, right? I mean, what's this? We're at 11 minutes and I'm just mindlessly talking. I'm, and that so that fits nicely with doing like a podcast show. Um, whether it's entertaining or not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's up to whoever's watching it, right? Some people might just go, "You're just boring, mate." <laughs> I don't care. You're just you're dull. All right, fair enough. But um, so yeah, it fits nicely for that. And I've sort of looked, I've I've evaluated my own viewing styles and patterns over the years, right? And I've always found that I much prefer long form content myself to watch. Like I'll take a, a an hour long or a three hour long video. It's on a topic that's interesting, just sling it to the side, right? And just listen to it whilst I'm working. I'll take that any day over it. I'll try and avoid short videos. If there's a video that's five minutes long, I'll be like, mate, there's no way in this world or the next that you can convey any sort of meaningful information about this particular topic in five minutes. It's not going to happen. And, uh, and you, as soon as you clicked on it, you have to like, you back at the page, you're going to look for another video. And I, I just like having noise, right? Whilst I'm working or something. So, um, yeah, I like that kind of content, you know? So, uh, it fits me. It fits my style. It fits what I do. It, it's what I'm comfortable with. And um, if it just lets me talk without worrying someone's like frantically typing, then you just shut up and get on with it. <laughs> well, it's a podcast, right? That's the whole point of it. So yeah, I'm, I'll, I might start with that, get back into it, call it unconstrained and just talk about whatever I want to talk about. If you've got, if like, anyone's got any thoughts, like topics or something, as long as it's not the usual, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I need to model a boat for my university work. Can you can you do a show dedicated to how to model a boat? No, no, <laughs> off. It's not happening, right? I'm like, no. Um, or or if it's like, oh, in September, uh, on shape, remove the mold feature or change this, that, and the other. Can you talk about that? Because my subreddit is an uproar. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It is something I have to be interested in or knowledgeable of. I can do a bit of research on something, but if I like, frankly don't care about it, then I'm not going to. But if you've got if you've got any ideas or any topics, then I'll just let us know. But generally, I'm probably going to do my own thing, <laughs> probably because that's like the best. That's how I get into the flow, right? So um, yeah, I'll be doing that. Um, what else is going to change? I'm going to lose this slant on tech as well, right? The channel diversified over the years. I've talked about this a few times in the past as well. Um, when I did start get, getting bored of CAD content, I moved into technology, right? I'm on the Intel, I think I'm still on the Intel press list. I was, you know, contacts at Dell and stuff and MSI and whatever, getting laptops and parts thrown in. Can you do videos on this, that and the other? And in the early days, I loved it. It was it fascinated me. Of course, I had the Infmark project, which is still going, which is hardware testing and benchmarking. And um, it got to like sort of 13th gen Intel sort of era, which maybe was 2022-ish, I can't remember. But it was around that point where like it didn't feel two minutes like the last laptop had come out and then the next one was out. And it's I know it's always been like that, but this time I'd done it, something felt different. It just felt they were coming out quicker and there was even less of a, a any kind of improvement between models. And you're still expected to like get excited about it and talk about it. And I was I, I don't care now. Like I'm just Yeah, I mean I'm still interested in in the in technology. I mean I still have all the latest gear here and that. But I've just I just lost lost the shine, I suppose. Um, and it, it's got, 
you know, it's got its place within the professional space. Obviously, it has. And I tried my hardest to sort of shoehorn technology into this industry, you know, technology for professionals and, you know, what workstation works best for CAD professionals and stuff. But it's just such a small bubble. So you make a video on a laptop, like a gaming laptop. Hey, this is great for, like, you know, if you're using Inventor or even SolidWorks or something. This gaming laptop's mint. It's cheaper than a Precision or an HP workstation or whatever. If any video ends up with, you know, getting shown in front of gamers who don't understand where, what angle I'm coming from, and, like, I just can't be bothered with it anymore. I can't. I can't do it anymore. So I'm going to lose... I'm probably going to lose the tech slant, um, which may then end up in a channel rebrand, right? Because then Tech 3D doesn't make any sense. And I, to be honest, I'm still struggling to sort of lose the, the link to TFI. Like when I introduce myself on shows, I'm like, hi, it's Neil Cross. Yeah, it's, I run the Tech 3D channels, formerly TFI, because that's where everyone found me, you know? Mostly my videos, the most popular ones, I was still called TFI when those were made. So it's all over the, the branding and stuff. So I don't know if, whether to go back to that or to call it something. I probably would. If I was to go through a channel rename, I'd probably put it back to TFI. Um, because I've not got emails and domains and stuff in the Tech 3D name. and uh, That's a whole thing. I don't know. Maybe I should leave it. I don't know. It's not It's not important. Brand, like, in the channel name, is not that important. As long as it's not an offensive word or right, something jumbled up, it's it's fine. You know, it doesn't really, really matter. It's not, it's not the difference between success and failure is what I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm revving the engines back up. Um, tutorial content's probably off the off the table. Uh, for, for a large part, I, I do at this point feel a bit out of the loop. The, the client that I've been working for for the last few years, they've, for, for various reasons, uh, they've been still on Inventor 2021. So, like, 22, 3, 4 all came out whilst I was still engrossed in a, in a, in a client site. That was 2021. And all that, all that passed me by, every little enhancement, every little thing which has been changed that I used to whinge about, it's all passed me by. I've just not been able to keep on top of everything that's been going on, which, I, which is something I was like, I pr prided myself on being able to do. So, um, yeah, I, I always thought I, I'm only going to ever make a video if I can win an argument on the subject matter. And I kind of don't feel like I'm at that point now. Um so someone asked me a question yesterday uh, about like inventors materials. It, Mike, if you're watching, like, uh, I'm pretty confident the answer I gave you, but I, ish, <laughs> ish, that's the thing. I'm, I, I would have in the past been like, oh no, that's how it is. But um, he, he was like, you know, if if a user wants to make a new material or have a, a an existing material but have it have it spelled differently, do you have to make a new material? I'm like, well, you would have four years ago, yeah, you would have to have it, but maybe, maybe they've put a new alias property in there now where you can have a material with a different name. It's the same material. It's got two different names. I don't know. I haven't looked. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the, but the client that I've been working for, they, they are now on 2025. So um, I, I can, I, I am now sort of exposed to the, the latest stuff, but it's going to take a while to sort of get back up to speed if I ever even do, you know. But um, yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, we're 18 minutes. Yeah, I'll call it a day there. So that's what's going on Last week podcast, uh, it's a great little chat. If you want to have a look at Sean's show, it's in um, it's linked in the description on Spotify and various other streaming platforms. And I'll be on the tournament this Friday commentating on the speed modeling. Uh, and then, yeah, a, a new show's coming soon. Uh, I'll call it Unconstrained. Uh, maybe make it bi weekly, perhaps once every two weeks. And that might just get me back in, it's get me interested in more involved in what's going on again. So I'm like aware of stuff that I can make videos on because like, I've just been sort of detached from it for the last year, which I, to be honest, I, I needed that. So um, yeah, that'll do. Thanks very much if you've watched this and um, I'll see you on Friday if you're going to be at the tournament. Links in the description, get sub to Toby's channel and uh, hit the link if there's one to, to pre-save or to subscribe to the live event that's coming. All right, thanks very much and I'll see you if I see you. Toodles. I haven't said that in a while. Toodles. <laughs>